What's up, planner babe? This is Arely Plans. My name is Arel. To those who are new here, welcome to my channel. And to my subscribers and returning viewers, thank you for tuning in again. So for today's video, this is the first of a seven-part series that I am doing, um, which is the monthly prep planning. So this is a series where I will show you what um, different parts of my planner that I prep for um, in light of the upcoming month. So since June is right around the corner, I thought I'd share some of the prep that I do to keep not only my life organized and also not feel so overwhelmed on what I have to do for the next upcoming month. So without further ado, let's start with the first video. So like I said, this is a seven part um, series. I will be doing one aspect of my planner like each day. So I will be posting one video every day for the next seven days and which actually um, is perfect because on the seventh day or like after it's already June 1st so it works out. So for the first thing or page or prep that I do is of course is to do my monthly spread. So this is for my Catchall 2.0, which is a big happy planner. If you guys want to see a flip through of that, I will be linking it in the video um, somewhere. But for today, we will be doing the monthly spread for June. Um, I don't really use my monthly spread a lot. Like I don't write on it. I just usually do it once when I do my spread. I put all my work days and then all um, the events and like stuff, important stuff that I have to keep track of and then just go through it like whenever I need to when I plan my weeks or my um, like to just keep um, just to check like what's going on this week and all of that stuff. But I usually just like do it all at once and then if like something comes up I just like add it in but it's nothing too crazy. So for as far as like sticker wise so since June is the beginning of the summer, I believe June 21st is summer solstice, I decided that I will be doing some summer themed, a summer themed spread. So I have my three seasonal sticker books, which is, this is the first one, the original, and then this is the second one, and then um, this year they called it Happy Year, so we'll be using those, and then we're going to go with the theme of beachy summer. Um, spread so I'm gonna use this um, accessory pack that's what they call it I'll be using this one so for the process of like my planning I will be put usually put in my work days first just so I know like when I'm actually working and then just like go from there so um, for to mark my sticker or to mark my work days, I will be using um, the, these Erin Condren clear stickers. So they're actually pretty nice. So this is what they look like. Um, they they're like transparent, so you can still see the number um, like beneath the sticker. So these are really nice to just like mark off my work day. So I'll be using those. I have my cart right next to me just in case I need another type of sticker but generally for the most part I will be using these so yeah I'm gonna do the whole fast forward thing like I do with my spreads so just keep watching
have it. So I went all out as far as the colors. It's, uh, there is no particular color scheme because I just thought like these stickers are so cute and I will probably not use them on a weekly spread. So might as well just put it on the monthly. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think I really like this sticker book. I haven't really flipped through it until like when I actually use it. I use a spring ones like when I did May and now I like it for June. So I have my bucket list over here. Got out some stuff that I want to do. Um, I just have a couple of like things that I'm gonna go to this weekend. My siblings and I are gonna go to San Diego. We're gonna have a beach day. Um, Toy Story 4 is on June 20th. Well, it's actually on the 21st, but we always go to the premiere the night before. Stuff. I have a grad party to go to, my cousins on this day, and then on the 24th, it's my mom's birthday. That's why I had like a candle earlier if you guys saw that, but I didn't really like that candle, so I just took it out. I usually do like a spread on my week um, dedicated to her. I did that for Mother's Day. I let her pick the color scheme, the florals, and all that. I'll probably do that on her birthday as well. And then, yeah, so if you can see like the numbers, they're still visible. So these are my work days and yeah, so this is it. So this is like one of the things I do every month, of course, is to um, do a monthly spread. I don't use it all the time, but I hate my planner being blank, especially you can like have fun with it. It's not, it's more for like dec decorative than a functional purpose. So this is our monthly, or my monthly. I will be putting it in the planner. Grab my heavy, heavy planner. Last week of May. So I will be putting it here. So there we have it guys. This is my monthly spread for June. If you um, like this video, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and of course if you want to see more content from me, don't forget to subscribe, especially for um, the this series where I do my monthly prep planning. I will be making a playlist um, for you guys to have easier access when all the videos have been posted. So I will see you all tomorrow. See you guys. Bye.